Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to HBI Auto. My name is Kendall, for those that don't know me. We're starting this video off in a 2022 Land Rover Defender. Now, this is an SUV I'm not familiar with at all, so you're gonna get a lot of God-honest first reactions driving this thing. I've driven one briefly back in, like, 2020, so I, but I haven't... I'm not really familiar with the Land Rover lineup. We just got this SUV in on consignment, so I'm really excited to show you guys around this. This is extremely low miles. It's got 1,100 miles on it, so it's got a lot of life left in it. It's got tons of technology. Technology. The layout is so different from other SUVs that I've driven and I'm just really excited to experience this and give you guys a first-hand look at what this SUV has to offer. So let's go ahead and get started with this drive. I've got a really nice Alcantara steering wheel, which I'm kind of obsessed with. Now, a lot of people don't really like Alcantara just because of after years of driving it, it does develop like a very um, kind of gross appeal to it. Um, I don't really mind it as long as you know how to take care of an Alcantara steering wheel or Alcantara for that matter. I kind of really like it. Now these seats are really comfortable. They're really soft and squishy. Um, again, I'm gonna apologize in advance. I do sound like crap right now. I, um, I'm fighting allergies like there's no tomorrow right now. So if I sound a little stuffed up, I'm not sick. It's just allergies are destroying me. It's really, really soft. It's really forgiving. And it's very just comfortable to drive. Land Rover and Range Rover, they get a pretty bad rap for always being in the repair shop, which is true to an extent. Um, but like with every nice exotic, slash European car. If you take care of it well, it'll last you a long time. That is if you just take care of it properly. Coming down to a stop. Okay, we're gonna get on it. Or I don't know if there's like a sporty sport mode on this. Is there? It does have that automatic shut off, so just in case. All right, I don't know. We're just, we're gonna give a little bit of, we're gonna give it a little bit of gas now, all right? Well, as soon as I get past, all right. That's not too bad. This is a V8 engine and giving it a little bit of gas now up to 60. That was pretty smooth. It was pretty quick. Um, exactly what you'd expect out of a V8. So that's really good. It's have four wheel drive slash all wheel drive, which is really good if you plan on going overlanding or off-roading or if you want to just take this to the mountains or in the snow, wherever you want to go. Uh, this Land Rover Defender is super prepped for it. All right, so looking at the interior now from my point of view, like I said, you've got this beautiful Alcantara steering wheel. It's a very nice and rugged steering wheel. It's a little bit bigger, but it is really nice. You do have this, um, what is this called? I don't remember what this is called exactly, but it's a, it's like a pretty uh, like rough metal finish on the steering wheel. You do have really nice metal paddle shifters on the back. Display right there, that's really nice. It's crystal clear image. Really nice LCD display right here, which is pretty simple. It's easy to navigate and the touch screen is very responsive. Now this car does have Sirius XM radio on it. You do have slope assist. You've got a compass, wheel information, weight sensing, and your energy impact. So you get a lot of good information right here, which is nice, especially when you're driving or you're going off-road, like I mentioned earlier. And then you've got all these other off apps on here. You got your vehicle dimensions, valet mode, towing and trailers. You've got a lot of good information stored inside of this LCD screen. Another cool thing about this interior is that you do have a nice little storage capacity right there, along with another USB-C plug-in right there. It's really helpful to help everyone stay charged and stay on top of their technology while they're on the road or on a road trip or off-road for that matter. One cool thing I wanted to mention about this SUV is it does have that adjustable ride height. So it's locked right now in the normal ride height, which is lowered. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the ride height. And I wanted to pop out and show you guys that real quick. Ooh, a little bit of a jump. So you can see the ride height just got adjusted. It is at max height right now. And this is perfect if you want to put on a bigger set of wheels slash tires. You can adjust that. It's fully adjustable for going off-road, going in the sand, going to whatever it may be. But just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Now you've got your gear selector right here. It does re remind me a little bit of a Honda Odyssey. Shout out my in-laws. Um, you've got your start stop button right there. And then you've got your you've got your AC controls right here. Very simple laid out, very simply laid out. You also have all of your all of your terrain modes right here, as well as your height adjustment, your slope incline, and your automatic start stop uh, button right there. You've got your volume control right there as well as the on off button for the radio. Your cigarette lighter right there. You've got a USB and a USB-C, which again is huge for those who have a newer iPhone or Android device that utilize the USB-C. You've got really nice storage right here. You've got tons of room. This is got two cup holders right here. You do have wireless charging right there, which is really helpful. I don't think it was charging my phone. I think because of my case. 
but you do have wireless charging right there, which is nice. So moving into the center console area, one really cool feature about the Land Rover Defender is that this is actually a cooler. So you can put it at super cold, or you can put it at just a little bit chill. And this metal box right here will chill. You can keep your beverages right there. You can keep anything right there if you need to keep it cold. Or again, you can just turn it off and have it as a secondary storage unit, which is really cool. Moving up here, you've got the ability to put this back all the way, which is really nice again for more storage utilization. Again, looking at the interior from the outside, I love how rugged and how clean and luxurious this image is. It's so nice and it's really, really, it really does scream the name Defender. Like the Bronco though, you do have a nice assistant handle right there, more storage right there. And overall the interior, very rugged, but also in such a clean way. It's stunning. It is a full satin gray on the exterior with those black accents. Then you've got blue calipers. These are really nice five spoke wheels. The SUV has fully adaptable ride height. As you can see, it's in a normal ride height stance right now. With the click of a button, this SUV can sit a lot higher up like I was sitting on the road. Moving around to the back, you've got a really nice swing out arm right there. Same as on a Bronco as well as a Jeep if you're familiar with. Nice privacy shade right there. Getting a better look at the interior from this backside. Super spacious, tons of room, and it's just really nice, really well done. Moving down below, you do have those floor mats, which are not installed right now. Uh, you do have you do have an AC plug-in right there on the side, and then you also have do have another 12 volt right there. So you've got tons of good options right here. I'm gonna pop open that engine to show you guys what that's looking like as well. So again, you've got that V8 underneath the hood. This is a supercharged V8, so you've got a little bit extra power, especially when you're going off-road, over landing, or whatever it may be. You've got a really nice engine in there to help get you to where you're going. It's very clean under here. Again, it's got 1,100 miles on it, so it's very clean, very new. All right, so overall thoughts on the Land Rover Defender. I personally like it a lot. I think it's one of those SUVs that, like a McLaren, it's kind of misunderstood. It has the reputation of being in the shop and always broken. But with any car, it can be said that if you take care of it properly and give it the proper maintenance and do all the driving and everything that's necessary for the SUV slash car, it'll have a very long life. Now there's tons of consumers across the water in the United Kingdom and so on and so forth that love Land Rover, they love Range Rover, and they rave about it. I digress. I'd probably rock this Defender, not gonna lie. Exterior is definitely different looking than other SUVs, but the interior is so nice and so well done. I am such a big fan of this SUV, just on the interior alone. Now the exterior, now the exterior probably isn't uh, the most attractive thing on the road, but it is something different and it's something unique. And if you're looking for that kind of flair, I can highly recommend the Land Rover Defender. This one is available through us at hbiauto.com. If you are curious about purchasing this SUV, I've put the link in the description below so you can check out more photos, check out more information on the SUV itself, and get in contact with our team about purchasing this SUV. That is going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you've got any questions about this SUV or about any questions about the cars that we have available, please leave us a comment or hit us up online through social media or through an email. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.